Recording in progress. Hello everyone. Good day. Hello. Guten Tag. Wie geht's euch? Hallo, guten Tag, guten Tag. Guten Jetzt Tag. Geht's mir. Ja, ja. Sehr gut. Ja, Aruna, Nikita, wie geht's? Hallo, wie geht's? Okay, so, mir geht's ja sehr gut und jetzt beginnen wir heute und das Lektion 9 beginnen wir heute. Kapitel 9 beginnen wir heute und das hier, der Kapitel 9 und der Titel ist, heißt Zusammenleben, ja, Living Together. So, when someone plan to live somewhere, what are the another preferences can be? For example, if someone wants to enjoy the nature, yeah, the beauty of nature. So that person will definitely like to have a house or a home wherever uh, the lots of natural beauty given. Some people prefer to live near to the water, uh, sea areas. Yeah, some people like to have a farmhouse. And some people like to have a big house, some people like to have a small house, and some people like to have the open space, maximum open space in the apartment or in the house. Some people like to have a very well uh, decorated, and uh, some people also like to have very good quality of interior in the house. So we also have here uh, five different different pictures along with the basic information. And uh, I hope you have already read these informations. Please let me know who have already read these information. No one? So, okay, then I think uh, I should give right now for the reading and then... Uh, you guys will be going to read and translate. So the first one, uh, yeah, I can do it. But second is for you, Aruna. The second text is for Aruna. Let me write here. I hope you are there. Third, it is for Sia. You will be reading and translating. Fourth, uh, this is Sia for Dash. And the last one is for Nikita. Everyone? Requested, please make ready the translation quickly. Also try to understand the picture along with this text and raise the hand. I'm waiting. Yeah, take your time.
Ah, uh, yes. So now we would like to start. I hope you, everyone is ready with their translation. This is here the first text I'm going to read. Heilish Zutfall Insel im Wittenmeer in der Nordsee. Yeah, it's a name of Iceland, which is called Heilish Zutfall, and which is in the Wittenmeer. It's again name of the sea. Meer means sea. So it's a name of sea. In the North Sea, which is in the North Sea, Lenga, 1,2 km. The length of this is 1.2 km. And Bright is the wideness, width, which is 620 m. And Flesh is the space, yeah, which is 0, 650 quadrat meter. Uh, sorry, this is kilometer. Yeah. So this is the area. Living space is there. 0.56 kilometer. And Einwohner. Einwohner is the resident. So there are only two resident in this place currently. So you can imagine like in between the water living and little scary. But people enjoy that also. Yeah, and now coming to the next second text, um, Aruna, I hope you are ready. Please start. Our house boat is so beautiful. We are Yara Zaitan, wind of them water beyonder. In Sepulchre, and we looked its inner sides. The season are particularly intense. On the water and the air is always fresh. Zaitek Jing B. Human Arm Ufer Zoom Tell Lot. Now, some, some of the tree on the bank are well. Daniel Jen. This the volcano and biome in Guasca Springs Lane, Crudula, and some of the trees. When when the cloud and the tree. Are reflected in the water. Rondula, Hausen, business woman. Yes, so we can see uh, the second picture is showing a house like a houseboat and which is swings very beautifully all the time and the seasons like the winter the summer are really very fascinating here and if we talk about the air luft which means air which is always fresh here and now you can see the boima trees am ufa on the coastal side the on the borders on the over the uh, nearest to the bank there is a uh, partially getting red and which really looks very nice. And uh, it is the wonderful view when the clouds and the trees reflect or we can say they make a mirror image in the water that uh, seems very pretty. 
and now about third picture i hope see uh, you will be reading and translating yeah ich habe überlegt was braucht man wirklich eigentlich nicht viel im mikrohaus mit k uh, 30 quadrat meter hat alles platz da kann man schon wohnen einen keller braucht man nicht und die terrasse auf dem nach ist im sommer das wohnzimmer sascha haus ingenieur i thought what do you really need not much actually in the micro house with approximately 30 square meters has everything space where you can live nicely you don't need a basement and the terrace on the roof is the living room in summer sasha has engineer Um, this was for Daksh. Daksh, please read and translate. Baur of Kragnar in Landbog, year 100, year old. Kragnar farm in Landbog, Tarko, year old. Nimar, they want of Finer thousand year hundred thousand crisis meter Kyoko already inhabited at meter above sea level. That's kilometer home door and plant my son in. Their nature. Six kilometers from the village in the middle of nature. After hundred dry meter blue than box and box one. Also meter to the near rest. I for five thousand year ran rendered year preparing one movement renovated rated in four holiday apartment. Yes, so this is a um, farmhouse, Kratzner, which is located in the city Lannenberg. And uh, we can say it's 400 years old. Always there are uh, um, uh, well occupied with the people. And uh, the sea, sea level, the height is there, 9,400 uh, 9, Achtendreisis, yeah. 1438 meter and uh, six kilometer from Dorf Erfent and Fert is the distance. So we can say it is uh, six kilometer far from the village area and mitten in the nature, which is completely middle of the nature, Ark Hundert meter to the next Nachbarn and uh, the distance between the neighbor, the person living here is around 800 meter. So, 2000 fear renovated. It's newly renovated in the year 2004. And fear for Ferien Wohnungen. And there, we can say, four resorts are available. The holiday resorts are given. Coming to the next picture, which looks like a church. 
and you can see there are enough open space inside the apartment or inside the house. Nikita, kannst du das weitermachen? Was ist, wenn man eine Fische nicht für alle Fische benutzt? What if you no longer use the judge as a judge? Dann ist sie einfach eine Fische so nicht gebaut. Then it is simply a large, beautiful building. Und in Dyson, the border, one here. And we live in this building. Hohe Raume und viele Platz für uns und die Kinder einfach in Chau. High rooms and lots of space for us and the children. Simply a dream. Yes, yeah, so uh, what is or what happens if you have a church, not like a church, you are using it as a house, as your apartment, then is the Anfang and Grosses shown as Gebäude. Then it is for you a uh, very a big and beautiful building, yeah. In this Gebäude, Gebäude is the building. You live there and the rooms are very high. Here Räume und viel Platz für uns. And there is enough space for us and for the kinder and for the kids also. Einfach ein Traum. It seems like a dream. Yeah. So we gehen weiter und here werden wir so as it was seen. Es gibt hier drei Bilder. Three photos are there in the Aufgabe 4a. Und uh, wir können auch hier ein paar uh, Wörter lesen. Zum Beispiel das hier, die Haustour. House tour, house door. Can you tell me the suitable photo for this word? The house tour. Photo A, B, or to say? A. A, all right. Hund bellt immer. Bellen B. is a verb which means barking. So it is conjugated for B. hund. Hund bellt immer. The dog barks always. Belch's photo is thus? B. B? Yeah. All right. Raider abstellen verboten. Verboten, something which is prohibited. So, raider is the cycles and abstellen is parking. So, cycle parking is here prohibited. And nochmal, Wetzes photo is thus? Ah. Uh. Ah, okay. Stören. To disturb, bother. B. Uh -huh. Auch in the Nacht. Also in the night. B. B. Grillen. B. To grill. C. Okay. Kann nicht schlafen. Cannot sleep. B. Uh -huh. The Rauch. The smoke. B. B. Es stinkt. Stinken is smell. B. Eingang muss frei sein. Eingang is A. the entrance. The entrance must be always free. A. A. Okay, yes. So we can see sometimes we have conflict with our neighbors and that happens because of such reasons like uh, where the Parking of cycles are not allowed, but still people do park in front of the house door. Sometimes we see that a dog is barking whole night and yeah, neighbors get disturbed, definitely. Some people like to cook or grill something in the balcony, but they don't think like because of them, 
because of that uh, stinking or because of that smoke definitely the your nearby people will get disturbed so they don't bother it and these all situation can be the reason of uh, conflict so when someone is going to complain then we have some sentences like sish bishweren how to do complain oftenly used sentences and this entschuldigen so if someone is complaining then next person can apologize and that can say sorry so which sentence we can use for that at the end we have ein lenken ein lenken is just like listening and passing like ignoring yeah so more, sometimes we see people uh, don't interfere and don't indulge in the topic in the ongoing discussion so just listen and just uh, uh, ignore it and leave that place so if something want to say then we can use the last one so i give you here 2 minutes quickly read this and then we'll discuss and translate
So this is here Zish Beshwaran to complain. And it is written as Stuart Mish when. S Stuart Mish when. After when you can mention what is the situation. Like you can say if someone is playing the loud music. Yeah. Or it it makes me, it bothers me, it irritates me. Uh, when, again, if, so if someone plays music in the night, if someone park a bicycle in front of my house tour, yeah. Ich finde es nicht gut. I find it not good. Ich finde es nicht gut. I find it not good. When? If. Sie können doch nicht. Sie können doch nicht uh, lauter Musik spielen. Yeah. You cannot play the loud music. You can write here lauter Musik spielen. Einen Moment, ich schreibe hier. Sie können doch nicht laute Musik spielen. Yeah. Suppose you people are uh, somewhere uh, in a city and the nearby neighbor is playing the loud music. So you can go and you can complain them. Sie können doch nicht laute Musik spielen. Entschuldigen Sie, können Sie bitte leise spielen? Leise is uh, just opposite to the loud. Yeah? Leise spielen. You can go and you can also ask, could you please play in low volume? Leise means low in the volume. Loud, opposite of loud is leise. Das geht wirklich nicht. Das geht wirklich nicht. That won't be variable. This will not going to work. Sie haben schon wieder. Suppose they have again played loud music. So you can go and say, Sie haben schon wieder lauter Musik gespielt. Lauter Musik. Gespielt. You have again played loud music. Yeah. Uh, coming to the next box, which is about apologize. So it's apology. That have ich nicht gewusst. That I haven't knew. I didn't know this thing. Ich möchte mich entschuldigen. I want to say sorry. Das kommt nicht mehr vor. There is a verb for common. For common means something will be going to repeat. For common means something which is going to repeat. So thus kommt nicht mehr for. This will not be repeatable. Das wollte ich nicht. That I didn't want. Es tut mir schrecklich leid or sehr leid. I am extremely sorry or I am very sorry. So if someone is not interested to listen you, then how he or she will ignore? Is ja yeah, schon gut. It's ja yeah, already fine, already good. Schon okay. It's already okay, already fine. Ja, yeah, wenn da so ist, yes, when something is like this, one can call the police. When something is like that, one should inform, one should complain. Now, good is nicht so schlimm. Nicht so schlimm, it means not so bad. Yeah, it's not so bad situation. It's fine. Vergessen wir das. So let's forget it. Vergessen means to forget. So let's forget it. Das ist schon in Ordnung. That is already in order. That is already in order. I means something which has already happened. And now the situation, the problem is solved. Everything is now 
are in the right way. So we can say das ist schon in Ordnung. Okay, coming to the next thing where we want to do a grammar, which is here I'm showing you. There we have some sentences and your sentence should start with the structure Könnten Sie mir bitte? Könnten Sie mir bitte? So this Könnten is actually used for more politeness which could be the meaning Könnten Sie mir bitte? Could you please? So whenever you want to ask for any help I think this would be the best option to use. Könnten Sie mir bitte? Could you please, could you please help me? Could you please wait for two minutes? Could you please pass a bottle? Could you please carry my bags? Could you please open this door? Such sentences we can make with the help of this structure. Könnten Sie mir bitte? This is actually the formal way. Könnten Sie mir bitte? If I want to make a sentence in the informal, then instead of Könnten Sie, I can say Könntest Du, Könntest Du mir bitte. So let's make some sentences, keeping in mind the all pictures given here and helping words below the photos.
So here, can you please read your sentences? Initial three sentences you can read about the initial three pictures. Hello, Sia Pistuda. Aruna, if you have written, please read the three sentences about the initial pictures. Okay, so uh, let me tell you all the sentences here. Uh, first, if we use this information, Mia by the in-house of Carbon Helfen, then the sentence can be, Kjönten sie mir bitte by the in-house of Carbon Helfen. This could be the formal sentence. And if I talk about informal request, then it can start with, Kjönten du mir bitte. So, Kjönten du mir bitte. By the in house of Carbon Helfen, could you please help me by the homework? Next sentence, Kjönten Sie mir bitte, which is common structure, meine Einkaufstaschen tragen. Could you please carry my shopping bags? Kjönten Sie mir bitte einen Stift leihen. Could you please borrow me this pen? Könnten Sie mir bitte mit dem Kinderwagen helfen? Could you please help me by uh, carrying these uh, kids pram? Könnten Sie mir bitte meinen Computer reparieren? Could you please repair my computer for me? Könnten Sie mir bitte das Fenster schließen? Could you please close the window for me? Könnten Sie mir die Uhrzeit sagen? Could you please tell me the clock time, what side is the time, order, könnten Sie mir bitte Geld wechseln, can you change the money, which can be related to the first picture, könnten Sie mir ein Glas Wasser geben, could you please give me the one glass of water, so these all are the sentences which is starting with the verb könnten, as you know the conjugation of this verb könnten can be ich könnte, du könntest, ARGS counter, ER counted, and BRGC counted. So let's do one exercise I'm showing you right now here. Aufgabe 5a. Sie können alle drei Sätze lesen und mit den Bildern verbinden. You need to read and tell the respective photo here. And then I request you people to do the exercise 5c also where just keeping in mind this is some situation you have and make at least two sentences send me in chat box where you can use information from this box yeah so you take your time i'm waiting please do mark some homework we'll discuss tomorrow which is uh, all related to the verb we have done, Kjönten. Would be great if you guys can make few sentences from this exercise C, fifth C, and you can, keeping in mind that the sentence should be framed with the help of this right side box only. So this is your here, first homework, Aufgabe 5 C, Kursbuch. Und dann können Sie einen Text lesen, das hier Aufgabe 12a und b. Aufgabe 12a und b, nochmal im Kursbuch, ist Ihre Hausaufgabe. Und dann im Arbeitsbuch können Sie auch einige Aufgaben markieren. Also, ich zeige Ihnen. Aufgabe 5. Aufgabe 5.
Und dann die Lernwortschatz, Vokabular. Sie können hier the meaning of vocabulary also mark as a homework. Auf die Seite Nummer 120 und 21. Ja, das ist alles für heute. Wir treffen morgen. Tschüss.